Hey guys, MTG new back. Um, pretty interesting hand. We're gonna keep it. I don't love it, but we're gonna keep it. We got a three drop and a four drop that we could play. Some cards that aren't amazing. Um, we could use some red mana eventually. Another swamp is okay. Um, we chose to go with a nine-eight split with more mountains than swamps, although. Uh, Magic the Gathering Online and its expertise determined that 10-7 was appropriate. So, you know, whenever you go against the computer, the computer is always going to kick you in the ass. Uh, we'll play this out just in case we end up drawing a Ripper or a Mountain and we want to play it out. We're in an okay spot at the moment. He hasn't played anything. We haven't played anything. We have pretty good mid game that's going to be hard for us to kill but not too amazing we'll just play out chosen of markov here we're not going to get flipping with it anytime soon but it's still a solid creature once we get some more vampires in the mix remember we boarded in the rolling templar for you know times like where we can't deal with a bunch of little creatures which seems like his deck has okay I also don't know if he knows that I can't block this I have to assume he does though okay yep he is smashing in we'll probably play like a 2-3 reach spider with death touch here Kessig recluse or something like that I would think we are not going to mess with that. Okay, Heretic's good. Mm. We'll bash in here. See if he really wants to trade. I doubt it. If he wants to trade, that's his deal, not ours. Okay, he takes, so we'll end up playing Moan. We really need to... Uh, Possibly draw some stuff other than land if we want a shot at this game. This is good against undying creatures. So like if I if he blocked and you know I want to make something undying, he could respond. So this is a really good creature. We passed up in it trying to go this way. Uh, we can use some removal. We ain't gonna hate on removal. Kind of need some, especially against a five-five. So we'll see. Nothing major. We'll just hang back. He's going to swing. He's just got a big dude. Which is okay. Hopefully he doesn't end up having a trick that will make blocking for us difficult. Okay, Interloper is good but not amazing. The only good thing about it is we can tap it to make the... Um, Markov's chosen a 4-4. So we got some things we could do. A few tricks up our sleeves. We'll pass the turn. That Orchard Spirit is beating us down. Uh, we can block it, except that our Vampire, although flying, does not block. Wah, wah, wah. Good guy, though. Okay, let's see what the odds of this happening is. He's going to swing in probably with the 5-5. Five five. Travel prep is really a beating against us right now. We have no real removal. He's probably going to flash it back. So I can trade, but I don't know if I can race. All right, so he's only going for 6, which is actually really good for us. The only problem is he might have another trick. So... My question is, why didn't he double travel prep his guys there? So that being the case, we have to be a little bit skeptical. I'm going to put this in the way. I'm going to put this in the way. I'm going to put this in the way for the simple fact that I want that guy dead. And I'm going to respond. He's ordering. 
Obviously, he's going... I would think he'd go Chosen of Markov first. Zombie. Little does he know we're going to... Vamp Vampiric Fury. And hope he doesn't have a trick. Okay. We're going to respond. We'll see, maybe he'll blow his trick here. Okay. Let's see if he has any response. None at the moment. Alright, so we're going to respond here. And we'll buff our guys. We'll see if this actually does anything. He might have a response as well. Um, we might want to give our guy Undying, but I think he's going to be able to handle that. If we get to just get him here, that's really good. Okay, hopefully he has no follow-up. So then we could actually race him. I think he's got a follow-up play, though. I, I don't know why he wouldn't just double double travel prep there. Okay, we're going to swing eight. Hmm, are we really winning this race if we swing eight? Let's see. Swing... It's not eight, it's ten. Which is good. Um, and then he swings back seven, puts us to six, and then he's got a creature, we make two more guys, puts us to four. I think this is a little too aggressive, but we don't have a way to kill this at the moment. So, I mean, if we just swing with him and him, then, then we have a blocker for here, we can kill it. Yeah, I think we're just going to go Vampires. Because we, our hand has nothing at the moment, unfortunately. Okay, I gotta love that. Gotta love a Beguiler of Wills appearing out of nowhere. Thin air to get you. Okay, so he'll take six. At least I believe he'll take six. You know he's got a rebuke. Okay, so he gets to rebuke our guy. Um... We're going to try the Undying Evil here, although he has the Heretic, so I don't expect him to miss that. I mean, when it's in the graveyard, he's just going to exile it. I mean, maybe if we get lucky, he won't, but I would think he's a better... Oh my god, he missed that. That is amazing for us. Okay, well, that keeps us in it. I love that he missed that. I don't I don't know. I mean his misplay meter is at one. Um travel prep, we're double blocking if he gives us the choice. He might have F6 there, but I, I guess he didn't because he had the rebuke. Maybe he just didn't see it. We only have two cards left, so Spider's fine. I mean at least at the moment. Yep, you're going to bash in. Why aren't you bashing in? You want to trade? That's fine by me. Good God Almighty, that's a lot of land. Okay, nine lands. I'm just going to play Moan here. Make some guys, and then end the turn, we'll just grow our Chosen of Markov. Can't get past this just yet. We're hoping we end up with something good. I mean, he's got two cards. We got two cards. We have two lands. He does not probably have two lands. Maybe one. That'd be awesome if he had two lands, though. Can't believe he missed that. Okay, if he swings spider, we're double blocking because it's going to be a pain in the butt. I think he's got a race here. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I guess he's happy playing defense. We got nothing, so travel prep, that's acceptable. Okay, that's his spell for the turn. This... Okay, we'll make a 5-5. Five, five. Oh, man, I can't wait to, like, rip our Vampire Lord. Oh, that's a good one. One, two, three, four. 
instigator gang do nothing. I mean, we could lose our zombies here, but I don't think it's worth it. I think it's better to just wait and go Alpha Strike next turn if he doesn't play anything. This is a good man. Hopefully he doesn't play anything. And then we just... Uh, looks like Smite. Okay. I mean, I can't do anything about Smite right there. We're just going to flip our guy. Hopefully he doesn't have another Smite. Ironsmith is good, but I don't think it's worth playing it out. If he has another Smite, we might be in trouble, but if he doesn't have another Smite, then we're looking pretty sweet. No more smites. <laughs> okay, apparently Brock Lesnar just returned to Raw. And my friend writes, <laughs> Brock just ducked John Cena up because he got autocorrected. And, alright, he's going to kill our guy. Um, and what that means is Brock just fucked John Cena up. Uh, poor John Cena. I don't know if you saw WrestleMania, but poor John Cena. Okay, so he's got a bunch of guys. We got a bunch of guys. I don't know if we're going to be able to trample over here. Oh, that's a good one. I think that's going to be game for us. Everybody says hello. You're going to obviously be blocking a bunch, but you don't know that we have Devil's Play, so that sucks to be you. Okay, you take 10 plus 3, tramp, 4 trample. You go to 2. We lose most of our team, and then we just go 1, 2, 3. That makes 2. Good game. Poor John Cena getting ducked up. Alright, I'll be bringing you round three shortly. As always, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.